Okay, let's head over to the Biko Kitchen now to welcome back Chef Bridget Davis, who, with Mark and I, will be creating two recipes from your book. Two. How are you? Good? I'm so good. Thank you, Mike. What two recipes am I going to make? Ah, exciting. Today we're going to be doing a poke salad, which is mm. a Hawaiian-style raw fish. Yes. And then followed on by that, we're going to cook the most delicious steak. And oh. we're going to lay that on some hummus, and I reckon that could be lunch for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Oh, Mark, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'll oh, be doing all the cooking. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Bridget. You're talking my language. Uh, we're up for the challenge, aren't we, Mark? Definitely. Nice work. Three of us. We can't get it wrong, OK? <laughs> we are back in the Beko Kitchen with Bridget Davis. How are you, Bridget? Very well. Thank you, Mike. This is the book. It's yeah. 128 recipes. And we're going to do two from that. We haven't got we time are. to do another 126, We could, we? though, if, we, if you really want yeah, to. Yeah, I'm sure this food's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get started and then you can talk, tell me a bit more about this book. So what are we going to start off with first? Well, I thought a really good way to start the day is with a beautiful um, poke salad. So Yum. from the islands of Hawaii, yes, obviously in the North Pacific, and um, they're very famous for their, their it's their style of a raw fish. So the, the fish that marks so expertly cutting oh, up okay. right now. <laughs> it's a little bit of um, a little bit of tuna. In okay. Hawaii, they use ahi tuna, so it's an oily fish. This can also work really well with salmon. Nice. But if you can get your hands on some tuna, yeah, that's definitely that. the way to go. Yeah, poke has become so much popular in New Zealand recently, hasn't it? I yeah. see places popping up all the time that are serving it. What does poke actually mean? Do you know? Poke actually means to slice. Okay. So it's Japanese, mm -hmm. and it means to slice, which is what Mark is. He's an expert at <laughs> that too. He's doing some poke right now. Easy, yeah, that's that's just in the kitchen. <laughs> it's just perfect harmony. But because it's also um, this amazing raw fish, and they, they also make poke out of um, octopus as okay. well, which yeah. is quite fabulous. But it's really up to you how you make the salad, provided right. you start with the simple ingredients, which is what we've got here. Nice work. So he's added a bit of onion to that? Yeah, you can add onion or not. Especially in the morning, some people don't want no onion breath. Okay. Yeah, it can be a little bit of a worry. But we're going to add a bit of onion um, because we're actually going to allow this to marinate. For okay, about half sweet. An hour. So it's more of a lunch dish. We've also got some spring onion happening here. But in general, you um, you keep it simple. We keep it really simple. Nice. So we just, it's just the raw fish, the poke, and then it's also the dressings that we're going to put on as well. Nice work. Okay, yeah. so this is going to be nice and fresh and flavoursome. Are you excited, Mark? How are you going over no, there? No, that's good. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing all the work. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Wait, what do we need to put on for oh, the dressing? Yes. Okay, dressings are simple. Yes. We require two types of sauces. Yes. The first sauce here is a um, soy sauce, or you can use a tamari, which is nice and light. And we just add that in. We don't even have to do it in a separate bowl. This is a one bowl dish. Yeah, we like so that. we add in <laughs> our soy, and in this little bowl I have some sesame oil. So we're oh, going to add in some sesame yep. oil. So those are the two bases. Salt and pepper as well would then go in there. But you know what? what sneaky things we're going to do today, aren't we, Mark? We're actually going to do two versions. Oh, it's yeah. that hey. simple to do. Nice. At this stage, you might stop here with your poke. Yes. Marinate it yep. in the fridge, cover for about half an hour. But because you know we've got a bit, of, we've got a bit of an expert over here. We're going to do two, in the two versions. So um, I'm going to just halve that. Yeah. Because that's our base, and we're going to make what is known in Hawaii as the spicy. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I love spicy. Yeah, yeah, thanks. thanks. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Spicy is simple. <laughs> Starts with mayo. Oh, just yum. a bit of mayo goes in yum. there. A good quality mayo. Yes. Um, Ideally, or you can make your own. Yep. We mix that through, and then we're just going to grab some hot sauce. So once again, the hot sauce is up to you. How hot do you like it? <laughs> not that hot. Oh. <laughs> well, not That's not what I do. I know. No, no. Well, Mark's, oh. Mark's having you on there. <laughs> Snatch me up. But I don't. I, you know, I'm getting used to hot flavors. Actually, you know, the more Mark's exposed yeah. me to it, the more I'm starting to enjoy it. <laughs> Chili flakes? No thanks. Yes, yeah. a little bit of chili. Oh. A little bit. And let's also okay. do a sprinkling of that. Oh, well, I'm pleased you uh, split it up into two. <laughs> <laughs> well, look One how simple me, that is. Yeah, yeah that's great. Simple. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And, very, and very simple. Completely different, different flavours. Yeah. You know, with the creaminess of the mayo and, you know, the same base recipe. Yeah. Brilliant. And how long do we marinate it for? Half an hour. Half an Half hour. Half an hour is all it takes. Oh, it's all in this book, which we'll get the inspiration behind very soon. We need to make the second recipe from Bridget's new book, 128 Recipes. Yes. Recipe number two, what are we doing? We are going to cook a... Well, I'm not going to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Love Marcus. this job. I know. I'm just going to cook um, a beautiful steak for us, and we're going to serve that steak on a bed of hummus and just put some lovely ingredients on top. For me, this is one of those go-to dishes when you're in a hurry, but you want to make something fabulous. Mm, so imagine yeah. you've got people coming over for dinner, they've Oh, they've just turned up. This is a 10-minute dish. Nice work. Literally. Okay. And how are you going with your steak? Have you got anything that you do differently than Mark? <laughs> 
everything. No, I leave it to the experts. No, Mark's got a really hot pan on here. We're using a heavy base cast iron pan yep. to make sure we get a lovely crust on it. He's seasoned it up. He's oiled our pan down. We throw the steaks in and we give them a bit of a cook. And you put them down on the seasoned side, don't you? Yes, because look, they're the seasoned. Right, yes, cool. absolutely. Nice. But, you know, it's it's completely up to you how long you can leave it in the pan for. Fair enough. Do you like it medium? I'm Do you a like medium it guy. Yeah. That's, that's acceptable. It's getting rare as I get older. I don't know why. But. <laughs> so it's up to you how long you leave it in. And okay, as that's cool. cooking, yes. all we need to do is prepare the, um, the platter for what we're going to serve the steak on. So I've got a little bit of hummus here. And the hummus is going to go down first. Okay, nice. Yes, a little bit of hummus. And this becomes like a lovely bed or a lovely mattress. Well, let's mm. get rid of that. That is not good. We don't... Oh, <laughs> You're no. such a chef, aren't you? Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Till I die, I tell you. <laughs> Even when I'm plating up for my kids, I'm wiping the plate down first. Oh, your presentation is key, isn't it? That's what Mark says key. all the time. So we've got such a chef thing, isn't it? <laughs> it <laughs> absolutely is. Look at that. I've even got a tea towel because we're going to go properly here. And while you're doing that, what hummus are you using? What do you like to use? Well, this one, now that I've tasted it, is a sun-dried tomato hummus. Nice. <laughs> that can be any hummus? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, you can great. even make your own hummus if you've got time. Brilliant. But as we're doing this, you know, we want a 10-minute dinner. Yeah, love we're it. Gonna, we're going to pre-buy a good hummus. So here I have some avocado oil. Yeah. Avocado oil is just going to be drizzled down okay. in the little indentation that I made there nice. in the plate. So okay. as soon as our steaks are ready, all we need to do is rest them, ideally, yep. Yep. and then we slice them up and then the steak goes on top of that. Brilliant. Okay, yeah. cool. While we're getting that steak ready, what inspired 128 recipes, Bridget? <laughs> About 30 years of being a chef. Okay. Uh, and I had all this stuff going on in this brain, and I wanted to put it down in paper. So these are my top 100. Your top 128. Yeah. Oh, yeah. brilliant. You're sharing with us all. <laughs> I like sharing it. Sharing is caring. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Okay, brilliant. And I love a recipe book like that because, you know, there's just so many different options in here. Yep, and they all work. That's they, the best part. And you can see how easy they are to make. What's your favourite? Oh, now you put me on the spot. No, I think I did that last what time. What day is it? You know, it's one of those ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of those ones. Well, um, actually, there's a really amazing, I call it a teeth optional chocolate brownie. Oh, yeah. So it's gluten free. And the reason I love it is you literally don't have to chew. You put it in your mouth and bite mm. down and it melts. Yum. Can you Speaking come back and make that? <laughs> sure. Speaking that. of melting, I love steak. Uh, where are we at with that? So, Mark, you're just resting it now? Yeah, so it's literally taken, you know, a minute and a half on each side. It's quite thin, so a nice bit of colour. Take it out, rest it for about about three, four minutes. And did I see you searing the fat? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, always, it's always a good, always a good idea. You know, oh, nice. some people okay, don't cool. like the fat, but fat is where the flavour is. That's so flavor it's always is. good to eat a little bit. Mm. You know, even if you don't like it, but get mm -hmm. it nice and crispy and render some of the fat out. Makes it yummy. Yeah. And uh, you know, I personally, I would put a big knob of butter in there. A yeah. big oh, knob of butter. You don't, but you don't, <laughs> no. you don't need to. You know, <laughs> you're catching on fast. Yeah. Okay, Wonderful. brilliant. Well, this is resting. It's smelling and yep. looking delicious. You can, do you need to do any more? I can slice it up You now. can slice it up. We can pretend that we've rested it for its, yep. uh, its, its good amount of time. Yeah, you slice and nice dice shit, and uh, get it ready for presentation, as yes. we said, is key. And we will see the finished product towards the end of the show with the finishing tips. Thank you so much, Bridget. Welcome. Always a pleasure. pleasure. Bridget and Mark, can I just say, this smells and looks incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Nice work. <laughs>